shout out to Bellator MMA. Uh, thanks for uh, giving me a chance to uh, display my skills on the uh, a national or world level. Um, I'm excited to uh, keep moving forward and uh, I'm coming for that belt. So you're looking at the future bantamweight champion, LC Uh, many of you guys know I have my uh, Bellator debut March 21st at uh, Kansas Star Casino. Um, it went good, you know, successful debut. Uh, got the first round uh, submission, uh, guillotine, with uh, two seconds left on the clock, so that was awesome. Um, but, you know, it, it was not an a easy, easy uh, task getting ready for the fight. You know, I had a lot of ups and downs as far as... Um, my fight got moved around quite a bit, um, had to warm up a couple times, cool down a couple times, so I kind of had a little bit of an adrenaline dump um, right before the fight, I think, you know, so I felt a little flat uh, in the fight, but as the, you know, fight went on, I started uh, getting in my groove and ended up getting the submission right when I started feeling good, you know, I was really kind of looking forward to a second round to, uh, you know, go out there and display my skills a little better, um, but, you know, uh, you know, fortunately for me, I, I got the tap with the, uh, two seconds left in the first round, so uh, that worked out for me. His professional record, 10 victories, 7 losses, fighting out of the Quad Cities, Illinois, introducing Toria, the Red Oaky! Easy work! Easy work! Let's go! Opponent tonight, tonight fighting out of the blue corner at five foot eight, weighing in 135.9 pounds. Impressive as a professional. He comes in tonight with 20 victories, six defeats. He fights out of Overland Park, Kansas. Introducing LC Davis. Let's go. The in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. In the bantamweight division, Torian Bogus versus L.C. Davis. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Dave & Buster's Eat, Drink, Play, Watch Sports. L.C. Davis more experienced and has fought better talent. Our fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Vargas is in the red trunks, Davis in the black trunks. Bellator debut for both fighters. See the build difference, Vargas very powerful. Likes to land hard punches, good. Great level change by L.C. Davis right over the guard. Love seeing that. Vargas looking for the guillotine, but Davis holding side control. Will not get it without the guard, might go for the Von Flu choke here if he holds on to it too long. It's definitely in Von Flute position. And now to the half guard of Boggs. Now he's in the half guard, much harder to finish from there. Oh, he's got it now. Use your elbow! Davis first made his name in mixed martial arts. He's a 145 pounder. He's had real success in the bantamweight division. And Jimmy, he said he wanted to use this fight to send a message to the rest of Bellator's 135 pound division. Next championship fight, Eduardo Dantes versus Joe Warren. Exciting fighters at 135. Short knee from side control for Davis. Elsie Davis, though, very deadly at 135 pounds. See Davis just grinding with the form and the elbow. Short elbow now. Rookie mistake by Bogus. Break him onto that arm and you're in side control. There you go, lets it go. Stand him up. You gotta watch the screen, you're stalling. This takes so much energy. You see Bogus trying to shift his hips, trying to get back to guard. L.C. Davis all over him. Very fatiguing being underneath the guy with tight side control, and that's what L.C. Davis has. Two short knees from Davis. That's nicely done by Bogus. Job Close, guard. Close guard from Davis. Body, body, body. Body, on Trevor. On the hip, on the hip. 
Davis looking for wrist control. He has it. Has a left arm of L.C. Davis trapped. That makes him vulnerable to those right hands, just like that. Short and clean from Torian Vargas. Davis throwing from flat on his back in closed guard. He needs to get that wrist free though. Box is gonna do a lot more damage with the right hand than LC is gonna do with his right hand from this position. Vargas staying sticky in the top position. Uh, that's a campaign that I don't need right now. More though. Good hip! Damn! That's why you wear undershorts in MMA. That is why you do it. And there's the stand-up from Jason Herzog. Get him time to pull his shorts up. But that's just me. He might not notice. Just right back in on L.C. Davis. Great for yeah, Davis. Yeah. Beautiful in the takedown. 20 seconds remaining round one. Tight and tactical from both men. Opening round of this bantamweight fight. Torian Bogus versus L.C. Davis. Going hard for the guillotine. Nasty short. Losing seconds, Davis. He got it. Ah! Two seconds remaining in round one, and there is the submission victory for L.C. Davis. Awesome job. That round was just about over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, he tapped. I don't think Bogus knew it. Only two seconds left. He tapped. He saw it with the left and then with the right. Good work, brother. Fight to the end, though. Marsha Champion, our timekeeper, telling me 4.58 of round one. You want to fight? Let's go. That is cutting really go. close. Let's go. And I'm sure Vargas had Let's no idea. Let's he would have tried to have held out for two seconds. That's very true. But he tapped. Thanks all my coaches. We in this VI. L.C. Davis said he wanted a statement win in his Bellator debut. Tight, composed, showed good, well-rounded skills. Look at this. Now that right hand, no mistake in that. He had tapped with the left first on the leg. Then tap at the right. Two seconds left. Must have been a sickening sound for Torian Bogus when he then heard the bell. Yep. Two seconds after he tapped. L.C. Davis now 21 pro MMA wins and victorious in his Bellator debut. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, in the main side, the tap the official time. Four minutes, 58 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, L.C. Davis. L.C. Davis gets the first round submission win. It comes with just two seconds remaining in the opening round. Hey, once again, the winners tonight, come on up and meet us from the south right here in the Hawking uh, area. The four winners are Ben Zimmerman, Rosa, Tristan, and Melvin. And coming in second, and the winners that are coming to us today come right back before the rock inside the cage. Hey, the winner was the big man, he's sticking around. He'll be back, you know that for a fact, and he's starting right now. Come on back and see us. Watch me go to the rock. I thank everybody that came to Wichita and supported me. Uh, my manager, Mike Kogan, um, got me with Bellator, came out to my fight and supported me. That, that meant a lot. Um, 
uh, my man Travis Conley, who helps me out with everything, my uh, my my diet, my jiu-jitsu, strength conditioning, the whole nine. Um, uh, Tom Teeter on my strength conditioning. Um, just all the guys that help me out, Wes, uh, Master Melvin, you know, my, my beautiful fiance, uh, Kylie Shepard, uh, my dad. He uh, even cut weight with me for the fight. It was really awesome. He, uh, you know, had we had a bet and he, he made, manned up and got the weight off. And so he won the bet. I, I gave him a little cash for uh, getting the weight off. And uh, special thanks to all my sponsors, uh, Reebok, um, uh, Title MMA, uh, Interactive Health, Italian Delight, Carmen's Cafe, Yoga Fix Studio. Check them out. Um, yeah, and HD MMA. Shout out to all my boys, my people, my training partners, my family, the HD MMA family. We here. We taking over. We ain't gonna be stopped. Let's go. Thanks for coming out to support us. Thanks, Mike. Nice to meet you, buddy. Alright, see Yeah, dude, I, I tell you what, I was flat when I showed out there. I sure. I was yelling at him. I was really just trying to zap him because I felt flat and tired. Just up and down. I tried to warm yeah, up at the end there. I was just tired. I couldn't even warm up. I basically warmed up like five times. I warmed up, cooled down, warmed up, cooled down. So I was happy to get the point. <laughs> Hopefully next time. What? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to it, but I didn't need a strong I was trying to do it to flip me over and end up getting it. I tried to do a knee and he flipped me over. We're done. I kind of had a flat performance. There was a lot of ups and downs with that, uh, you know, having me supposed to fight at 6.30, didn't end up fighting at 10.30. Felt like I had a little adrenaline dump, but we got the W, baby. That's all that counts.